If you have an industrial switch break or stop working on you, I'm gonna show you the cause of why it happened and how to fix it. The fix is as good as a new switch, so why pay money on a new switch? There's a lot of time and money to find the right switch, order it in, and then put it into place. And if you fix it this way, it'll work just as long as a new switch. So let's get started. Usually, it doesn't take much to disconnect the inside of the switch. You can pry it apart with your hands. Now we're looking right at the terminals that make the contacts. Look how pitted these contacts are. Take a closer look. Every time you turn the machine on, arcs will pit this. No wonder the switch is intermittent or not working at all. We need to clean up these contacts so they're clean and smooth again. This file does a really good job of cleaning it up. Look at the difference of which one is cleaned and which one isn't. These contacts are easy to clean. What about the ones deep in the switch? You're not getting a metal file down in there. So we'll cut off a little piece of sandpaper. We're gonna need to make a little tool to get down there and clean it up. So we'll mix up some epoxy and glue the sandpaper to the top of a pin and just clean up the edges. I find a wooden dowel rod works a little better than a pin. Then we'll spin our little sander tool right on the contact and clean it up. Then with a pick, we'll go ahead and pull out the other contact and clean it up as well. Once you get them flat and clean, we'll be ready to put everything back together. Almost every industrial switch is built like this, so you can repair just about all of them. As we clean it, you can see this dust is silver. Some people clip these silver contacts off and save them because it's silver. Silver's at like 15 bucks an ounce. Well, this is a lot less than an ounce, and I'd rather have a working switch right now. Now that everything's all cleaned up, it's time to put these connections back together. This pick helps get everything all lined up again. There's definitely some dexterity involved in getting this switch back together without the contacts falling out. Whoops, it just fell out. With a little patience, you'll get it back together. When it's back together, it'll feel right. Remember to unplug when you're working on this. Now when we flip it on, it works. I am so glad to have my sander back. Now it's time to put everything back together. I'll use a tap to make sure that everything's cleaned up so I'm not fighting with the threads. And we'll screw that switch back into place. So next time you have a bad switch, you don't have to replace it. Put that money towards something else that you want to do. And once you have these contacts clean again, it'll work like new. Well, I hope you found the video useful, or at least entertaining. And if you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.